All right, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Mic Drop Podcast. It's your boy, Alex Wardu. Follow us on all social media. The links will be in the description down below. We got a special guest in the building, Joe Ogun. What's, what's popping? What's popping? It's really good. just Joe O, but Joe O. Joe O. Yeah, some people okay. know me as Joe Ogun. Some people know me as Trap Ogun. Sure. My Nigerian brother. I fuck with it. I fuck <laughs> with it. Guy. We did here. We did. We did. We did here. We did here. We, did here. <laughs> we got a lot King. to talk about. For sure, for sure. King, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, bro. Let's get it. I know you're obviously like an artist and whatnot. Uh, just give the people like a little quick background on like like who you are, where you grew up, um, what got you into music type shit. All right, boom. So I'm from I'm from Franklin, New Jersey. You know, um, um, nationality is Nigerian. You feel me? Um, but I grew up in New Jersey. Um, I started doing music when I was young, but I was on and off of it. It's actually took. It's actually when I took a trip to Nigeria, I started taking music serious, and I For came sure. back. It was up after that. So I would say I started taking it serious. <laughs> yeah, like, I start. <laughs> I started doing it seriously in 2011, but uh -huh. it started kicking up like 2012, 2013. Okay. What yeah. was your experience like uh, visiting Nigeria? Was that like your first time? Yeah, it was my first time at the time. Nigeria crazy, man. Nigeria yeah. is crazy. It was yeah. I needed that connection to my homeland, my motherland to really get me right in tune. You know right. what I mean? Mentally, spiritually, everything. Even for my music too, right. you know? Yeah. Because for, for me, it's like every time I go, every time I go back to Africa, it's like a, I feel like I always learn some shit, like some lessons. Like what lessons do you feel? Like? Yeah, yeah, West Africa, Senegal. Mm, but I was Africa. born here. I was born here, so I'm like kind of like Likewise. you and Alex type shit, like first generation Africans type shit. Thank so it's like, what what lessons did you learn? Like you feel me? Like when you went, like experiences that feel like change your perception on this whole music. Don't shit. talk back to El Dazu. <laughs> Don't talk to your I learned that yo, shit the hard way, bro. But you straight, yeah, you straight. You good, bro. Oh, bro right. We low key be burning on here too. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> we low key be burning too. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I want to fuck up, yeah. You feel nah, me? Because I got respect for y'all shit. I be trying to be professional, but until nah. y'all say I could be ratchet, that's when I'll be like, all right. No, nah, this is yeah. this is definitely <laughs> more some like laid back shit, bro. So. Oh, yeah. all right, facts. Because I seen Flacco interview, and I got we gonna pick Flacco pockets <laughs> on something. Because I got I got something to say about Flacco. Flacco is my okay. guy. That is yeah. my broski. Nah, that's like, a homie you know for sure. I mean? Shout, Shout out to Flacco. Out to poetic Flacco. You feel me for the one time, you know, doing his thing on No Jumper, doing his own, you know, has his own platform booming, doing. I've, I've known this guy for years, you feel me? And he's just been elevating every year. But, no yo, what country is that guy from? Because he said, he told me. <laughs> Bro. It was Nigeria. It's... Now he got Liberia flag. In his yeah. Fly, yo, I'm like. What is you really so I think with? I think he's like part Nigerian, but I think he's mostly Liberian from like the podcast that we do with him. Yeah, I think his dad's Nigerian and his mom's like Liberian or some shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. As long as he says somebody in his family is Nigerian, we not go. Like <laughs> that's my bros. Shouts out poetic flock. But, but yeah, move, moving forward and shit. Let's keep it rolling. For sure. So you said you went to school. Did you go to school anywhere? You said what? Did you go to school anywhere? Yeah, I went to school in Nigeria, three years. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, that I went to Nigeria, Franklin. Yeah, I would have uh, never known that shit. Yeah, like you went to school here, bro. Bro, how was that? How was that know, adjustment like? like open book. So like around like freshman year, that's when I went and did shit because I was bad. You feel me? So yeah, I, I'm that story of that nigga that where they send back like when they threaten oh, y'all, send y'all back. Oh like, yeah, I just went to, you know what I mean? I, I wasn't yeah. right. Damn. 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 Nigerian was check was. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Went to the trenches, bro. Let me, crazy. Let me tell you something. When Check West came out, I supported that guy so much no, because facts. of what happened to him that happened to me. But my story is, I don't want to downplay his story, but I spent more nah, time. Tell your, bro, tell your story, nigga. Tell your story. Yeah. I low-key want to know. Yeah, I want to know. Damn. That, see, see? I was, was going to let y'all take the flow of this shit, but since y'all want to go there, that's that's where we got to go with it, man. This is all you, bro. What y'all want to know about Lagos? Lagos, Nigeria, man. What y'all want to know? I was there. So, for so what years, was the original, bro. so so what was the original reason why you got sent back? Like, what, what, why did, why did your parents decide to send you back to Africa for? So, too many fights, too many, 
Uh, I was, I was, I was, it was too many fights, bro. Too many fights, bad in school, bro. And then that's, that was enough. Bad yeah. in school, too many fights. Okay. From, yeah, yeah, I know. Alex Cameron went off and shit. No, that's cool. So, how, wait, so how old were you? I was uh, 14. Okay, so you're 14, you feel me? You grew up in the U.S. You're just now mm-hmm. setting foot in Lagos, nigga. Like, break down, like, your whole, like, you feel me? Lagos is crazy, bro. It Lagos, Lagos is the best. It could be the best and worst place, bro. You right. can't, like, shit could be all going good right now. Then, yeah. <laughs> shit goes south. Were you, were, you, yeah. were you still writing when you were over there or no? Have, yeah, I didn't have no type of entertainment while I was out there for school. You know what I mean? You in school, and I was on campus. You know what I mean? Right. With boarding school, you know, all boys. It's treacherous. It's treacherous. Niggas fight yeah. every oh, day. You went to <laughs> all boys school, nigga? Hell. And it wasn't like no international type shit where it's like, you know, all the fresh It was straight Africans, nigga. It's crazy. It was in the jungle. Yes, yeah, straight Africans. So, <laughs> the jungle is niggas, crazy. Niggas, <laughs> yo, it's a jungle out there. That's why I'm like, Bro, man, no I can't wait to go back to that school. And then, you yeah. feel me? I can't wait to go back because it's like, damn, y'all, I, yeah. I almost lost my life in Lagos multiple times. Fuck you want to talk? You want to talk about it? Or? I mean, yeah, one of the times, uh, I, oh, well, one of the times I caught malaria and typhoid. What, nigga? You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, because when you, when you're, like, your system is, like, okay, you drink this, you drink this type of water, you drink this shit, and then yeah. you go to another place, another country, it might, it could be anywhere, and then you start taking there, it's a different whole type of... No, nah, the yeah, water, no, nah, the water life. situation over there is fucked up. Where do, I know you've never been, bro, but when you go, nigga, do not touch that shit, fool. Like, the water? Yeah. Yeah, no, just drink I mean, whatever I mean, bottled water. It, it bottled water. No, don't get yeah, it twisted. Drink the, we got we yeah. got clean water. Yeah, but the bottled drink, water is where it's at for sure. When you go to school and shit like that, you get easily mixed in. For the first two weeks, you can be like, all right, all right, this is the American kid. But after that, bro, yeah. you're getting mixed in. Like you gotta start drinking what they drink and you gotta start eating what they eat because you don't mm. you're not about to have that two weeks money that you had in the beginning throughout the whole your whole thing. This shit was like, yeah. it felt like a jail sentence. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Jeez, it felt man. like a jail sentence in that school. Nah, bro, I couldn't yeah. imagine because I'm not gonna it hold felt you. Like, like a bit. My parents <laughs> definitely, <laughs> my parents definitely threatened like me with the whole like Africa shit growing up when I was like getting into trouble and shit. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. So, bro, that I'm already knowing. Africa is better than, better than jail, bro. It's tough, but yeah. it's better than jail. Yeah. Because it's like, I mean, I, I, I had access to girls, but I wasn't like, wilding or doing anything crazy out there at that time because i was just so i was just in another mindset i was just like yo i'm trying to get out of here bro i got i got yeah. girls back home <laughs> yeah. I got girls back in the states you right? i was like yo, yeah but yeah but now i love lagos yo i want to go back okay. tomorrow i want to i'm building shit out there like i want to go back it's what made me what's like the, I am, what's like the best part of late what's, what's like the best part of lagos that like kind of like motivates you to want to go back is it just like the people is it like the girls definitely the people you know definitely okay. the people the yeah. vibes and the people i ain't gonna lie my my family my cousin out there my, my guys out there the whole streets bro like everybody bro. Mm. Like, is, like the whole nigeria is a vibe bro like bro it's a vibe like what my dad has been begging me to come back for the longest like right, yo bro. you're not gonna come back you're not gonna come back. I'm like, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. It's the time. It when did you, when did you move there? Um, 2009. So you was 14. Uh, September. Like Hell yeah, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Jeez. Moved, moved okay. to Damn. when I was young. When you 14? So, Damn, uh, bro. Wait, hold up. So, so how did you get out of Africa? Like, did you? Have, Cause I know some niggas. They low key did some shicey <laughs> shit to get out. So <laughs> what, the, what they do? So I know niggas that because you know how like usually when you get there they'll like take your passport and like your ID type shit. I had I had knew some niggas that dead ass had to go take their passport and go to the U.S. embassy. You feel me? And then get some some shit like situated with the embassy to get a flight back home type shit. But by then yeah. there was already see them, see, them was cool. niggas that had access to phones to have yeah. money. Yeah, no, of course. Shit. So they was rich kids. And, uh, yeah, type like, shit. Yeah, no, like, they have bread for sure. Yeah, they, if you got bread then. You not worried about none of that shit. You get what I'm saying? So right. it's easy for that. But my fucking, you know, I don't know. It's crazy. You, yeah, you had I, to wait, that you wasn't had to my situation. Time. Yeah, that wasn't my situation. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, Definitely. not for you. Yeah, but hell no, I ain't had access to none of that shit, man. 
Damn. How was that first year, like, when you moved there? Like, how was, like, the whole adjusting? Because, like, you move in there at 14? I couldn't imagine doing that shit, like, 13, 14. I'm not even 15 yet, and I'm in Nigeria? Yeah. That's like... Nigerian, Nigerian. Hell no, I couldn't do that. Bro, <laughs> I love Nigeria. I love it. It's, it's crazy. In Lagos, it was a very important time. 2009. Yeah. I was like, yo, damn, this is like What happened in it's that not, year? Bro, I like a year after that or two years after that, around that time period, just say around that time period, a president died while he was president. Damn. Yeah, mm. while I was in school. <laughs> like like they told everybody in the morning that we just had everybody had a free day off. We all went to the um, park and we played soccer and shit. I like <laughs> a lot of crazy shit. And that's Bro, serious shit. It's crazy. Shootouts no. by my school. Shootouts right outside of my mm-hmm. school. Like uh, in the morning, mm-hmm. like as people mm-hmm. are coming to school and shit. It's different shit, bro. Different shit, but everything is safe, man. Everything is safe. <laughs> so <laughs> so what's up? So you so what's the first thing you do when you get back to Brooklyn? When I get back to Brooklyn? Yeah, when you got back to Brooklyn oh, no, from Nigeria. Jersey. Oh, Jersey. What was yeah. the first thing you did when you got back to the States? Go to my producer house. Jeez. You got right into the music. Bro, I, I was already into it. Like, I, I told didn't waste no time. Oh, God. <laughs> I told my you said, I remember I said I was 14. At 15, I was out there and I said, I'm going to make it in this shit. So by the time I got back, when I got back, I was just about I was 16 turning 17. So it was like two and a half, three years. Okay. So by the time I got back, I was like 16, straight to my producer crib. Yo, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. You're like, yo. He wasn't okay. even home the first time. So so back. was that around the same time where you like dropped like your first song and all that type shit? Uh, nah, that was ca- kind of like months after that. Okay. And mm. and I do got to bring up an important person to me in my life. In Speak this shit. My, my nigga Lionel McCauley. Shout out to him. His uh, He passed uh, in 2020. Um, he was a, a Jersey Club um, dancer, an actor, and um, they yeah, a spoken word artist. You know what I mean? And he was from Franklin. And the a culture with New Jersey, with the Jersey Club dancing, he was like a pioneer with the dancing out here, the Jersey mm. Club and stuff. I'll show y'all videos, but he was one of the uh, like first biggest inspirations and motivations I had when I came back, like just on a support level. Like, yo, mm. yo. Like, I remember when I dropped my first track. He was the first one showing love, retweeting, and all that shit. Till the till when he passed, he been showing love. Like, and I knew him mm. like literally my whole, kind of like my whole life type shit. So I know him solid, went to Nigeria, all that shit. Like, mm-hmm. that's what's up. That's what's up. So uh, that song that you like previewed on your your IG page, I really fuck with it. Which How did the uh, that one with that African song? I forgot what it was called. Magic Sturdy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Magic. Nah, um. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, yeah. bro. I really appreciate that. Yeah, really that shit is hard. That. No cap. How did um, how did that song come together? Like, what gave you that inspiration to make that song? Um, yo, I was trying. I always try to do something new, and the fact of you know my background with the Afro, you know what I mean, and then the yeah. hip hop, I was highly influenced. You know what I mean. So I put. I wasn't thinking of anything else i was just like yo i gotta do this i gotta put something together and i was thinking yo what's the hot what's a hot song to do you know what i mean and i'm not gonna lie the person that inspired me to do this was k flock the way it's shaking you know uh with the cardi b joint and i was just like because he was i heard akon's voice on this year i'm like use one of akon's old songs belly dancing i'm like that's hard but i'm like what if an african nigga did it to a more african you know what i mean sample yeah. that's mm-hmm. like that's still rap like k flock you feel me so I was like, shit, I could do that. So I was like, fuck it, let me go try that shit. Boom. Mm. Picked out the perfect sample, you know, which, let me even mention, has been used multiple times before in different songs and stuff like that. Because it's a popular song, Premier Gao by Magic System. Shout out to Oh, that. man. But, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all, all the Ivory Coast niggas, man. Yeah, shout out to all Ivory Coast, all Africans. Yeah. Cause everybody grew up on that shit. That shit Facts. Was, was hot. That's my shit. You know, so I... I, I knew if I drill this, I had a tough producer. I gotta so listen I, to that fool. I definitely have yeah. to listen to that. I had to drill that. I was like, nah, I did that, bro. Uh, uh. Okay. So I'm speaking like, of yeah. speaking of drill, DJ what's your academics? Current? DJ Academics co-signed it. Um, Deadass? Uh, uh, when? 
What was this? Yo, go on my page, bro. You mean shit? <laughs> I'll be on your page. I did not see that shit at all. Yeah, I did go not see that shit, bro. That's crazy. Okay. Go okay. On my page. okay. So what's Damn, your what's your wild. what's your opinion on the current state of like New York drill type shit? Since that's like what you dabble in. Um, it needs it needs a little bit new sauce. Like they don't just need the same shit. I all like right. drill beats, but I ain't about to be out here competing with these niggas and this and ops smoking packs and none of that. You think you think the genre is like dying? Nah, it's just getting started. I thought it was dying. You know when I thought drill was dying? What? You want to know when I thought drill was dying? Was when Favi when Favi dropped Big Drip. That's when I thought drill was dying. I was like, this shit is over. That really? might be like the start. I, feel like. I, I thought, thought that was a, I thought that's I thought when it was, it was at over peak. in the start. When it started, I thought it was over. You know why? I was going up on it. I was checking up on it because I was like, everybody hopping on drill. Like, what the fuck? Like, all right, I'm checking Favi or Foreign. When I was checking out the views, I was like, yo, these views is not busting as much as the other shit because of the yeah. trap shit, you know. But right. but I didn't realize at that time is because that was more established. You get what I'm saying? In America, mm-hmm. at least, you know, trap sound. But the drill is sometimes it takes that little, you feel me? But people like Pop Smoke took it to the next level. Favi eventually took it to the next level. But Big Drip, I wasn't. I, one record don't yeah. make reason. I wasn't one the biggest record. fan of that record either when it came out. Yeah. Nah. But he, he gradually got better, though. Exactly. And gradually. He gra- yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to Favi. Who are some of like your favorite drill artists like right now? Uh, R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. I love that. I, I got love for that nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just fuck with his aura. Um, I fuck with a lot of Chef G mm-hmm. and uh, Sleepy Hollow, Twenty Two Gs. I fuck with. Unfortunately, I fuck with all the niggas that's beefing. So you know. Yeah. I listen to all of them. <laughs> I'll okay. be like, it's not, be- it's not because they're going at it. It's just because uh, they're hard. Can't say yeah. drill without Chief Keef, though. Mm-hmm. Can't say drill without Chief Keef. Definitely. Keith. That nigga went yeah. that shit for him. So yeah. I, I, I know we jumped right into the Africa shit, but like you grew up in New York, obviously, right? No, nah, I was born there. But you didn't grow up? My, my okay. family, when they came from Nigeria, that's where they was first at, New York. Like a lot of my... My mom, my dad, my uncles and aunts, on bo- a lot of them on both sides, they was in New York. So, so you grew up in Brooklyn. Jersey, right? Yeah, I grew up in New Jersey. I was okay. born in I was born in Brooklyn, but it's like a lot of my family was out there. You know what I mean? And then half of us stayed, uh, half of them stayed, half of us moved to Jersey. A good, a good amount of us moved around and stuff like that. But okay. yeah, I was born in, in, born in Brooklyn, but I moved right to Jersey. Right to okay. Jersey. So, it wasn't, so what was your life like, like up until you went to Africa, being in Jersey type shit? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, my um, parents they divorced and shit. They separated, but that was just like uh, when I was young, probably like around five and shit. But it was still good. Like, like when you still got African parents that are still in your life, you know, yeah. financially. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not mm-hmm. feeling. You're not feeling the oh. Uh, being raised by one one parent type of thing because I grew up with my mom, so I didn't really feel it because I was like, "Yo, we got a house," you know what I mean? I'm the yeah. youngest of three. I got my oldest sister, my oldest sister, my brother than me. I was the baby, so it was pretty chill. Like, I was into sports and I was into music, and Jersey Club, <laughs> Jersey Club dancing, everything, bro, everything. Because okay. like where I'm from is like huge with Jersey Club. No, huge from, in Jersey, though. it's become a big thing, like not just in Jersey. Like I feel like it's low key branched out to different parts of the state. Like niggas are really jacking that shit right now. Yeah, I know. Like Florida got their own version. You know, yeah. Like different places got their own shit. But um, was about to say um, yeah, Jersey Club, especially on TikTok, is booming. It's mm. booming. Shouts out to Jersey. You feel me? Seven three two, Franklin F Town, everywhere, man. They know what's going on, bro. We putting on. We put. It's been a long time coming. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. There's been a lot of great artists in Jersey that just haven't really gotten you know the credit that they deserve. I mean, I'm, I'm happy they are now, but never back me. then it wasn't like that. They just never took it to that next level and shit. But I'm that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do you know Do you know who Rome is? <laughs> Sir guy from New Jersey. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah, that's home. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, your lady's prospect. You said what? Lady's prospect. Oh, yeah, yeah, You're yeah. Talking about your yeah. lady's prospect, Rome? Yeah, that's lady's my brother. Prospect, bro. That's my nigga. 
I don't, I don't know. know. I know. I don't know, know about Ladies yeah. Prospect. He goes by the yeah, I know. Is he a rapper? Yeah. yeah. Light skin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's only one in Rome. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know any yeah. other niggas yeah. in Rome, like from New Jersey. He's from, he from North like, New Jersey. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my nigga Rome. <laughs> how long? How long you know him? Shit, probably like ten years. Real shit. Oh, okay. he was uh, he performed at my last pop up, my last event I did. Okay, oh, for sure. together. You like performing? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. What's I your favorite part about getting on stage type shit? Um Damn, getting on stage. <laughs> You got stage fright, man. Oh, oh, no. Yo, I, even Nigerians I don't get scared it. easily, so I, yeah, yeah. Stage fright is what every artist will have to some degree. Well, but, at first, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, I think my best part is when I hear the crowd interacting with me, like you're fuck, mm-hmm. you're fucking with it, and you know they fucking with it. That's a rap. That's all you need. Like that's the yeah. energy. I go off their energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are some like dream collabs that you kind of wanna? do a song with like if you made it to like a certain point and you like yeah, <laughs> you like got to that question. point like who who would you want to do a song with i ain't gonna lie it's a list it may be a list and it may be a long list it could be a long list it could be a small list it just depends on feeling for real for okay. real at the mm-hmm. time but if you ask me now I ain't, I ain't gonna lie <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna wait, make wait, this wait. a thing. Every time we do an interview, I'm gonna just mention Yeet randomly so he can laugh. <laughs> you gonna, you nah, because that shit is crazy. Because King is like a Yeet stand, so every time I try to bring up Yeet in oh, every like interview, I, yeah. You know, you know what's crazy? I think he's the one that's coming with the wave after Young Boy. Like he's the Facts. next. He's the next sure. wave after Young Boy. Like he's really about to. Because like, like people like with that type of fan base, you don't fuck with. But I, yeah. I haven't heard his music enough. But I'm about to go check him out. But um, nah, he definitely has a has a crazy ass fan base. Dream so. collab, Child, yeah. What the hell? Nah, Dream? Damn, I gotta do. Huh? <laughs> Why y'all gonna just throw out the biggest artist? <laughs> I'm saying, like, Dream is a dream. Who? <laughs> fuck it, like fuck it. I I want to be basic and say him first. Like like, come on, Drake. I mean, you could have like, said Kanye. Drake, like no, no. <laughs> you see, you see. No, you know what? Jay Z, Jay Z. Mm. I'm talking. J. Cole, yeah, now we talk W J Z. J. Cole, Jay Z. Oh my guys. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I don't wanna fuck up not saying nobody. Um you, you don't fuck with Kanye? Hell yeah, I gotta work with Kanye. Okay, Hell, okay, okay. You said Jay Z kinda I'm quick there. I don't gonna know. Do work with, no, but that's my that was my dream before ever working with Kanye to okay, work with Jay Z. Okay. So I gotta J. Cole, that was that's more still more of my dream. But Kanye, I ain't gonna lie, he's right in that realm. Kanye. Mm. I'm going to work with Kanye. Kanye not hard to work with, um, cause Kanye does beats. He's production. He work with a okay. lot of. He work with Fabio Foreign. Like, he work okay. with mad people. Like, he, he just posted up this one dude from Atlanta. I forgot his name. Then he posted up Afro beats. He been posting up Wizkid. Everybody. Yeah. Like, he, okay. I mean, he does in. follow like seven thousand people on IG. So <laughs> I'm nah, sure Kanye, it's not hard. <laughs> so, Kanye's definitely tapped in. Lot. Him and him and Drake, I feel like, are a lot more tapped in than niggas think. Yeah. yeah. No a lot of people in that seven thousand, you probably couldn't. I got one person that you could, one person in between y'all that connect y'all, and then that's it. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So connection network. Yeah. So you said you used to play sports, right? Yeah. What kind of sports do you play? Like basketball, soccer, typical Nigerian shit. Because <laughs> I, I played soccer when I was like nine years old. Cause my stepdad that's was into that shit. shit. Oh no, God! I was, Y'all I was did. Never, see, that's the thing. If I if I grew up in a household with my father, I would probably be playing soccer or some shit. Okay. But, yeah, but yeah. nah, I was I played football, wrestled, and I ran track. Mm, okay. I played basketball and soccer, but not like organized shit. Like I like okay. all sports, but nah, not like that. All <laughs> sports? You like hockey, nigga? I mean, shit, in gym class, them shits was, shits was right. <laughs> I was right in gym class. I ain't gonna hold you. That okay. shit, what? And I was not, I was always nice in any, any type of sport where you got to dribble and you need a ball. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good in that. I'm good in mm, football, okay. basketball, anything with a ball, I'm gonna I'm a make it happen. Cause it's, For sure. It's fun. Tennis? Tennis? 
Yo, my sister played tennis. If I fuck with tennis, I, I could get tennis. I could do anything. If I really as, focus as you should, you should uh, do that. Yeah, no, like, I used to, one one thing people don't know about me, I used to be real good in guitar. Even I'm still gonna hop back on it. And I'm when I'm talking about real good in guitar, I'm talking about before Little Wayne was playing guitar. You get what okay. I'm saying? Like I used to go to mm. guitar classes and all that shit. Like you know, and I'm just like I know the chords, I got the strings and all that down pack. I'm like, why don't I hop back on it? Because I don't got time. I was like, all mm. right, I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get some time. So yeah, yeah. that was all that. Before what's like your what's like your overall goal with this music shit? Like, where do you see yourself in like three years type shit? Oh yeah, in three years I see myself um, just helping, being in a, being in a, put in a position just to be able to live off my music and help others live off theirs. Like that's just really what it is. Like, or mm-hmm. at least in three years, yeah, in three years, yeah. I don't, that's why I want to be helping people live off their shit, helping people, you know, get to the bag too. Cause that's what that's what me as you can see on my hat that's my brand gsd you feel me and that's just what, sure. what i promote get shit done you know what i mean that's what stands mm. for get shit done and you know that's what i want to promote to people so it's even it's a motivational type of brand inspirational like you know unified unity type of thing going on there too like you know help it takes one to help another you know what i mean type yeah of, like, facts. facts i fuck with it i fuck with that i fuck with it too bro. Yeah. um shit, shit. What was I gonna ask? Do you listen to Afro beats at all? Uh, of course. Okay. Who is like who's like your favorite like Afro <laughs> beats artist? Who is I mean, come on now. Like I don't say the usual, please. Say something <laughs> no, no, else, no, bro. I got it. I, no, 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 no. A burner boy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, so my favorite, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you who and I'm gonna tell you why. My favorite is DeVito. And and you know, he, it's, it's, it's it's him because him and Wizkid, I seen them from the first day that they dropped their song. Okay. I knew of them. I was like, you know how, like, think about an artist. You knew of them from their first song. From yeah. 13 years later, you still bumping them. That's me. Yeah. I knew about mm-hmm. when Whiskey dropped his first, had his first feature, his first song, his first music video, all of that. Like, you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we are super fans of Nigeria. So when that, all of his music came out, we didn't even have phones in school. They got the whole dormitory singing his shit. Back mm. to back to back to. It was like we was humanized radio radios. Like we wanted. Yeah, to hear he definitely game. had a run. No, yeah. no, he Y'all don't even did. understand what ha- what type of run he had because I yeah. was in Nigeria when nah. this nigga dropped his first song, his first album. Same thing with Davido. I was in Nigeria, so I felt the impact. Yeah, crazy, bro. Nah. Crazy. Wiz kid in Nigeria then it was like Michael yeah. Jackson. <laughs> mm. Nah, nah, he definitely. He's Michael definitely... Jackson in Africa. I ain't gonna hold you. So who who's like your Mount Rushmore then for like Afrobeats in your in your opinion? My, my Mount Rushmore. Wait, so it had to be like four names. Hmm? Four names. So yeah, like four names. Yeah. All right. So Davido, I have to say Berna. I guess more than four names. It's more than four names. Davido, Berna, Wizkid, uh, uh. I'm would I be would I be crazy if I said um might be crazy if I said Rema? Is it yeah. too early? Yeah. You would. You would. You why would. why you say that? Yeah, it's it's a little bit too early. He okay. got like people like Mr. Easy in front of him. Okay. And Mr. Easy is in front of Rema. Yeah. He's in front I'm, of Rema. Yeah, he, he has a deeper catalog. A deeper catalog, he has more accomplishments. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever heard about Empire Africa, but that's something like I'm trying to brand. I'm trying to build where he's helping Empire Africa is he's signing people and giving them straight bread if he likes yeah. your shit. Mm-hmm. And, and if you're a videographer, he's funding. He's giving you money to shoot videos. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know who? Do you, do you know who Wally Sek is? Wally Sek. Yeah, Wally Sek. Okay, never mind. He's a Sanglees nigga. He be you for me. Is that like the top nigga? You gotta send him to me. Yeah, he's like but the top nigga. He's that nigga right so now. So many people with the Afrobeat shit. Lagos, that's tough. I'm tapping. There's so <laughs> many people I didn't. Need. So and shout out to I'm a piano, but um, I used to. I'm 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 anything Afrobeats like anything. I'm not just Nigerian. Uh, I do anything. This and I listen to anything that come out of Africa. But as far as Afrobeats goes, obviously I said Berna, Wizkid, Davido, because I actually came up on their music from day one. Like, I'm mm-hmm. really a, a day one supporter of these niggas. Um, uh, there's Omale, there's, mm-hmm. yeah, there's Rema. Like, I'm just naming the ones that I like I listen to. Rema, yeah. uh, I've been I've been listening to people like Oxlade, 
Like, what do you think about Ashaka? Ashaka, yeah, yeah. Ashaka is tough. Mm-hmm. Olami Day. Ola- I can't. I can't believe. Yeah. That got yeah, to yeah, be yeah. A legend. Yeah, he's Olami a legend. Day is yeah. a legend. Yeah. Olami Day is a legend. Cause he he brought on brought in all these Ashaka and Fire Boy, you know what I mean? All these. I so would he be that fourth person on your Mount Rushmore? Yeah, 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 yeah. My Mount Rushmore is Devito, Brenda Boy, Wizkid, and Olami Day. That's a good. That's good. And then and, and then over that would be my guy Falakuti. How you feel about uh, Thames? Oh yeah, Thames is fire. Yeah, she's fine. Mm-hmm. You, you she's wouldn't fire. put it. You think it's too early to put her in the Mount Rushmore though? <sighs> Afro beats, come on, bro. <laughs> I feel like I feel like yeah, she's kind have of like more of R and B, yeah. She yeah. Kinda you gotta like, have a catalog. Yeah, because like, she uh, a catalog not just for one year. <laughs> she definitely being her R and B bag. Yeah, more even with the catalog, I feel like she's leaning more so into R and B than Afrobeats yeah. now. Like yeah, yeah. like R R R and B soul. Yeah, like an yeah, soul type of shit. But like yeah. like I said, yeah. like yeah, that Thames is not on no Rushmore. Hell no. I mean, yeah. I, she's she's gonna be one day, but not now. Like, I think in right terms of female, because there's not a lot of female representation in Afrobeats, and at least from there, what I've heard, there it is. Is Tiwa Savage? And... Exactly, Tiwa Savage is on the Mount Rushmore. Yemi okay. Alade, Niniola. There's, <laughs> yeah. Don't get it twisted. I'm okay, okay, okay. I, will pull hey. out yeah. I believe it. I believe like, it. I think in terms of like a name value, I'd probably just say Tiwa Savage. T- what? Not even just name, work ethic, everything. She's been doing yeah, shit for yeah. years. She got in terms of like popularity and stuff. Like, yeah, okay. yeah. Nah, she got 10 years of hard work in the game. Forget popularity. Mm. Like, more than 10 years, probably like 15. She worked mm. hard. <laughs> what you think about techno? Oh. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> All right, you see, super tapped in. I'll fuck with it. I'll fuck super with it. That's what he called himself. I ain't really, Shit. You know, me, I probably now I think about it, I probably would just put Fela Kuti over Olamide just because of like the impact he had. You gotta put Fela Kuti over everybody who I just saw. Yeah, yeah. Olamide Afro was right. Beat of Afro beat. Yeah. He created Afro beat. It's like but the Kareem Abdul Javar that list. That's crazy. <laughs> no, he, he like he like Kareem is crazy. Skyhook, like, crazy. Yeah, he's like crazy. the Kareem or the yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Sure. what you what you got planned for like the future any new like music dropping new releases so boom so boom i just dropped obviously magic's 30 out right now on all platforms that's your heart shoot the music video at the nigerian independence parade in new york city next week mm, so, okay. that shit's gonna go crazy video's gonna go crazy when it drop that's um, it. yeah um i got some more afro drill stuff that i will share with y'all too and some videos dropping some mm-hmm. some videos, some more they could expect yeah. videos and more songs. Yeah, hey, definitely sure those. Definitely Afro sure drill. I can't wait to listen to this magic, this magic shit that you just made, bro. So I can't the Afro drill shit. That shit is hard. I can't wait to hard. drop five more of them shits. So if you yeah. like, you know what I mean? I got <laughs> that sound like I'm not gonna lie. Afro drill sound like the beginning of a a, a genre, a new like, genre. Yeah, yeah. that ass. Crazy? Like you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy though? I'm bringing. Afro drill to hip hop to the hip hop community. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like they don't have that. They don't have nobody in hip hop doing that shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Right. I'm bringing that. I'm I'm letting them know. Like, look, I'm stamping this. Like, you feel me? It's not like mm-hmm. I'm the first to do Afro drill, but it's like the way they're yeah. doing it. At, it's not being uh, appreciated the way it would if if it's somebody that's centered in hip hop that's in the New York New Jersey area is doing the shit. They're gonna respect it a different way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you do you like pride yourself on being independent, or would you sign a deal depending on what like the the contract and stuff? I'm optimistic, man. It can happen any way. It just gotta make sense. Okay. Okay. It just gotta make sense. I'll sign a deal if a deal makes sense and it's gonna pay me and pay my people and put me in a position. Why not? I like being independent, but sometimes being independent is stressful. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've been doing my shit for ten years, and I still feel like a a new artist and shit not an upcoming artist but like a new artist as far as like i'm always up to date always making new music always putting shit out you know what i mean so mm-hmm. i am new to somebody but um yeah if you don't understand the game and what you have to do i don't think you want to take my route because i was built for this so it could take me 50 years i was still gonna be here telling you this so but for other people i wouldn't want them to go through what i went through but i would just tell them like look do whatever best fits the situation maybe right. signing the girl is the best all right, yeah, that Magic Sturdy is hard, bro. Go check that out, nigga. Yo, Magic Sturdy out now. Listen to that shit right we're after this. We're gonna flood it. We're gonna, we're gonna put that in the description. It. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Let we're the people know where to find you, bro. Right? 
baby girl need to back it and dump it. Tongued out like it's Jordan, I'm jumping. Hey. We're gonna up it. We're gonna up it. We're gonna up it. I don't hey. need something shacking. I'm working. Hey. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, now I got sir. it, bro. That's a, <laughs> bro. that's a childhood classic, bro. Yo, I gotta listen to that shit. Dropping, the next one dropping, I gotta get you. I gotta, you know, you know yeah. what I mean? The next few ones is gonna drop. I'm gonna slide that to y'all. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely. definitely shout that out. We'll promo that shit, bro. For real, for real. 100%. 100%. That's that's crazy. Crazy. That shit sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let the people know where to find you, bro. Social media, all that. Bro. Oh, um, on Twitter, it's at Real Joe O. So that's R E A L. J O E O and on Instagram is at Joe Ogun. That's J O E O G U N. And um yeah, Facebook, Joe Ogun, J O E Space O G U N. And shit, my website about to drop, some more music about to drop. You feel me? Yeah, get me on the gram, TikTok at J O E seven three two. You know what I mean? I'll be TikTok and use my sounds, all that shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But just catch me in the street somewhere, man. It's kept me in the studio or something, man. I had a show Most deaf. Most deaf, <laughs> bro. Yeah, appreciate you coming on, bro. I know we had to man, reschedule a lot of times. Y'all, but... y'all platform. Appreciate y'all for having me, man.